What's up guys? Welcome to the new oh, man it's stitched together rock on vlog <laughs> and today's mission with my beautiful KTM 890 Duke it's my new bike we're gonna make you my fellow bike riders safer on the twisties especially in the corners we got different techniques tricks and tips how to ride in the corners but today we're gonna look into a one specific one and very important one it's the so-called trail braking so I'm gonna show you what this means and how it's done. So let's go straight into it. Some of you may ask, what is trail braking actually? We have two versions. First one is the, oh, oh shit, shit. Oh, shit, means you went into the corner, hit the brakes because you miscalculated the whole corner and you wanna correct it. You hit the brakes, the bike straightens up and you lose the front tire and you crash. So the right way of tray braking is, we are approaching the corner, we are shifting down, we are starting to brake, but we don't leave the brake, we keep the small amount of pressure on the brake lever, we lean, we are slowing down till the turning point in the corner, and we are searching for the exit where it is. When we see it, we can release the brake and slowly accelerate out of the corner. So this way it will keep you and your bike safe, and exactly at the point and the spot in the corner where you want. A lot of riders are still using a old school technique that they've been taught in the driving schools is the so-called slow look, break and roll technique. It's a good technique for the slow wide open corners that we mainly find uh, on the highway entries or the exits. But what happens if you use this technique in a tight corner? You don't know how much speed you need to go safely through the corner and you don't know what's in the corner or what will happen after the corner. Maybe there is a wet spot or a hole or uh, upcoming traffic, somebody is cutting the corner and you need to correct and you can be simply just too fast and you go too wide and you can crash into the ditch or something worse. So this technique, slow look, brake and roll doesn't work for the tight corners the trail braking is the right answer. So this was trail braking in theory, now in action. You can use this technique on the racetrack also, and of course on the road too. We're gonna approach now a tight corner. I'm gonna brake, keep the brake, and look for the exit. So let's go. Okay, brake, 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 exit is there, okay. And brake, 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 and release, exit is there. Brake, 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 keep braking, there is the exit, let's go. And one more. Brake, 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 where is the exit? There it is, I can release and I can go. Okay. One more. Brake, brake, brake. Still, there is the exit, I can release and go. This was now trail braking in tight corners, but in tight corners a lot of stuff can happen. It can surprise you. Imagine you are in the corner and suddenly the corner gets even tighter, so you need to correct your lines. So for that you have two options. First one, you're already trail braking and leaning, so you just need to lean more and adjust the pressure of the brake. But a lot of riders are scared to lean even more because it's already panic attack and so on. Then you have option two, which is easier to do. Because we are already trail braking, we have the uh, front grip under control and the lean in un under control. You just need to add a bit more brake, so you will slow down and you have enough time to correct your line. Modern bikes such as this 890 Duke have a lot of riding aids, uh, cornering ABS, traction control and so on and so on. And this makes you faster in the corner more safer because it helps you to hold your grip in the corner. One last tip, the fear of trail braking, how to overcome it. Of course, braking straight is okay, but leaning at the same time isn't something that everybody's used to. So I have a short tip for you. Before you try it on the public road, find an empty parking lot, simulate the corner with some stones, cones, whatever you find, uh, and then, try to step by step break in in the corner and once you get 
used to that feeling you are ready for the road ladies and gents that's it from the rock the driving instructor so to summarize what is trail braking first makes you faster on the racetrack and on the road makes you safer and gives you overall more stability in the corner that's it from the driving instructor now let's switch to the freestyle rider guys now finally i can show you what my new precious baby is capable of let's go Impressive numbers guys, right? Renato, nice edit man. You are getting better and better in this bike porn. <laughs> guys, it's not just numbers, it also looks cool. I really dig this orange color, you can get it in two styles. All black Batman edition or this orange version that I have here. And it's not just numbers, it actually feels better than his predecessor. 10 horsepower more means less shifting i can stay longer in the gear 90 cc more displacement 20 percent more rotational mass this results i go in the corner way smoother power delivery also slower traffic lower rpm smoother so this is a really nice upgrade that you can feel straight away and then front suspension vp apex front suspension is now upgraded it uses split function technology what it means one side compression the other side rebound i felt it in braking in the corner way more stable and it has more intuitive riding feedback beside the upgraded front suspension and the rear it has upgraded front brake calipers and the brake pads so you have more braking power now and my bike has some nice power parts on it so brake levers reservoir cap and uh, bling bling stuff also we added the tank grips uh, from Bagorish Performance, so I can hold on better today on, in the corners. <laughs> if you want to see more details about this bike, we have a really nice video in the description below, so check it out. This trail braking tutorial was made for you guys to make you safer on the road, and unfortunately, the YouTube algorithm, once that you press the like button, so more of other riders can be safer on the road. So it's not only for YouTube, but also for us to show some support. So thank you. We appreciate it. Also Renato behind the camera. And guys, that was it this time. Drop some comments below. What tutorial should we shoot next time? What driving skill you would like to learn? We're gonna read it. That's it. See you soon. Until then, rock on.